amazing and beautiful, not a flower or tree, much prettier than that and only I can see, loving and caring right down to the core, filling me with happiness and so much more, eyes are so Wakey, wakey. Wait, what? How did you get in? The name's Burnham. Officer Burnham. Come, take a seat. Yes, officer? What is the problem? I need you to tell me everything about Samuel Chi. What are you talking about? What does Samuel have to do with anything? Your childhood friend, Samuel Chi. It has been reported that he is the new leader of a very powerful gang here in LA, and we need your help. What? Samuel? He would never hurt a fly. Why would you accuse him of being a gang leader? We have some evidence to prove it, but we need to send someone in to finally get our hands on him. That's why we need your help, Joshua. I heard you and Sam had quite the college experience. Can you tell me about it? As long as I don't get hurt doing this job and can prove to you that Samuel's innocent, I'll tell you everything. Fair deal. It was the fall of 2006, and it was my first day at Stanford University. I finished my first class and headed off to the nearest park where I first met Maya and Sam. Hey, you new here? Yeah, I just came last weekend from Pittsburgh. I'm Maya. Joshua, nice to meet you. Now, who is this, Maya? This is Josh, he's new here. Looks like we're the first people he's met. Hey, do you wanna get a drink? Yeah, that sounds great. The next three years of my life wouldn't have been the same without Maya and Sam. We hung out every day, went to each other's houses, and spent every second of our time together. Sam was like the brother I never had. And Maya, well, let's just say that she was the perfect choice. It was the last day of school, and I decided to ask Maya out to go with me to a concert. But as soon as I got to her, Sam stood there hugging Maya, and I knew I had lost my love. And that was the end of that chapter. So you just walked away from them? I couldn't see the girl I loved with another man, especially my best friend. Did you ever talk to them afterwards? I am friends with both of them on Facebook, but we lost physical connection after we graduated. Well, I guess it's finally your chance. What do you mean? We got Sam and Maya's address. They have been together since that day in 2009, and unfortunately you're going to disrupt their relationship. So what am I supposed to do, and why me? You need to go to their house and stay as a guest until you get foolproof evidence that Sam is the leader of a gang and the FBI chose you because of your relationship with them. Okay, and what do I get out of it? Pride. The FBI doesn't usually choose average people and you should be honored that we chose you. So, when do I start? Monday morning. Here's the address. Okay, thank you very much, officer. We'll stay in touch. Hey. Oh my goodness, Joshua? No calls, no texts? It's like you disappeared for four years. Yeah, I was just busy with my job transfers and other crap. Well, come inside. Why are you standing? Sit down. Joshua, long time no see. How are you, man? I actually came because I need a favor from you both. Yeah, sure. So tell us what's up. Since I got my job transferred to a company located in your area, I need a temporary place to stay before I find some apartment to rent. Is it possible for me to stay in your place for a couple of weeks? That's definitely possible. So where were you hidden for the last four years? 
Like I told Maya, I've been busy going around the US for two years trying to figure out the perfect job for me. Anyways, tell me about you two. Nothing really. We're still the same two idiots in college. And I can speak for the both of us by saying that we really missed you. I miss you both too. Hey Joshua, let me show you to your room so you can relax and freshen up. Let me know if you need anything. I think I've stayed here too long. I really tried, and I couldn't find any evidence. I also think it's time for you to come back. Even though I didn't work out, I'm still proud of you, son. And remember, if anything happens, you still have the gun I bought you. Yep. Alright. Thank you. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Maya, I'm dropping Josh off at the airport. Say goodbye to him. I'm gonna miss you. Thank you for giving me Sam and I company for the last one. Don't disappear again. I won't. Now the next thing that happened to me completely changed my entire life. Sam, over your back. All right, babe. October 5th, 2006 was the first day I met Jocelyn, and I knew from then onwards that Sam and Joshua would be the two most important men in my life. Sam, don't you think it's kind of weird how Josh doesn't show his face for four years, but when he needs help, he comes to us? Maya, don't be rude. Maybe he was going through a lot of problems. No, I didn't mean it like that. Actually, never mind. I think it'll be fun with him around. I hope so too. Hey Josh, do you want anything to eat? Maya, thanks for the dinner. Hey Josh, since Sam has work to do, do you want to go for a walk? Sam, do I have permission? Are you kidding me? Of course, go ahead. I would come, but I'm tied up with my business affairs. Why the sudden reappearance? Well, I thought I needed some time to readapt to all these changes. So I finally decided to spend some time with both of you. I know why you left us for four years. We don't need to talk about that. Yes, we do. I know you had the hearts for me in college, and I would have said yes if you had asked me out, but Sam got there first and I couldn't say no. I understand. Don't worry about it. Want to go back now? Yeah, I guess so. Sam's probably waiting for us. Maya, I'm dropping Josh off at the airport. Say goodbye to him. I'm gonna miss you. Thank you for giving me Sam and I company for the last one. Don't disappear again. I won't. Joshua's arrival and Sam's behavior seemed very unusual. I needed to make sure that everything was going fine. I got into my own car and started following them. What happened afterwards changed my entire life. Alright babe. This was the first day we met Joshua. I was feeling insecure because I wanted Maya to myself to do all the stuff I was going through. She was the only one who comforted me after all my troubles and knew what was going on. To everyone, I was the athletic and smart guy, but to Adam, the drug dealer, who bullied me for four years, I was a different person. <coughs> Sam! I need more of this. But you know what I need for more of this? More money. I don't have money. Give me your money. I'm sorry. I don't Give me have your money. money. I don't have money. Give me your money. Where is my money? I don't have your money. I don't have your money. I don't. I don't have your money.
After seeing Joshua leave that day, I knew that he was going to be gone from my life for a very long time. Joshua's departure and Adam's treatment for four years put me in the state of depression. I knew that even though Maya was with me, I would have to do something with my life to get out of the stage. In 2010, I created a gang because I felt safest and strongest within a group of people who are labeled as my brothers. I've kept this a secret from everyone, including Maya. Maya, thanks for the dinner. Hey Josh, since Sam has work to do, do you want to go for a walk? Sam, do I have permission? Are you kidding me? Of course, go ahead. I would come, but I'm tied up with my business affairs. How come you're not picking up your phone? Have you got any information about Sam and his gang yet? We haven't spoken since we met three weeks ago. We need to end this quickly before Sam and his gang create another havoc. Call me back ASAP. Thanks. After listening to that voicemail, I needed to act differently with Joshua for the next two weeks. I had to act as if I didn't know about that plan. It was not until the day he left when his story was about to end. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Maya, I'm dropping Josh off at the airport. Say goodbye to him. I'm gonna miss you. Thank you for giving Sam and I company for the last one. Don't disappear again. I won't. Sam? Where are we? I needed to show you something before you left. Since we have hung out a lot recently, I need to confess something. This is my secret game hideout location. Sam, I didn't know you were this type of person. Well, I guess people change over time. Sam, don't do this. You can't ruin our friendship like this. What friendship? You call this friendship? You call handing your best friend over to the FBI friendship? If it weren't for you and that idiot Adam, I wouldn't be here today. Wait, hold it, buddy. Both of you, stop it! Right now! No matter what happens, Maya, I will always love you. 